Kiribati, Solomon Island, Fiji, three low-lying countries that have been predicted to disappear by the end of this very century due to a rise in sea level. The culprit, carbon dioxide, this gas which absorbs and traps heat in the Earth's atmosphere, causing the global temperature to rise, hence a rise in sea level due to thermal expansion of the oceans and the melting of polar ice caps. The amount of carbon dioxide in air has been constantly increasing since the Industrial Revolution due to the burning of petrol, which is made of a mixture of these types of substances called alkanes, made of carbon and hydrogen atoms attached to each other. And when we burn petrol, these carbon and hydrogen atoms detach from each other, combine with oxygen in air to form water and carbon dioxide, which move off into the atmosphere. Now imagine that we can take back these carbon dioxide molecules, put them back together with water to get back our alkane. Plants have been doing a process similar to this for millions of years, photosynthesis, by which they combine carbon dioxide and water to produce their food, glucose. Today, we can also do it in a single step reaction called alkane reverse synthesis. This reaction does not even require a large amount of energy. It takes place in the presence of light and heat that can both be concentrated from the sun and a photocatalyst, which helps the reaction take place. And what makes this reaction even more interesting as a fuel alternative for our vehicles is that it is producing the same fuel that our vehicles are using today. So no need to replace all the vehicles of the world, nor the current fuel distribution system. Now, in case some of you are still wondering, like, what is the point of taking carbon dioxide from air, putting it back together as alkanes, and then burning it to send it right back into the atmosphere? That is not really helping with the global warming problem, right? Wrong. The difference we're bringing is that we're not digging the carbon from the ground to send it into the air. We're taking from the air to send it right back there. That is what we call a carbon neutral process. Even though we're not decreasing the amount of carbon dioxide, we're not increasing it either. So that would definitely put a break on the global warming problem. We as citizens of the world, and people who care about the impact that we're having on Earth and on future generations, it is imperative that we seriously start looking into these alternative methods of fuel production. Thank you.